again, if you've confessed with your mouth, believed in your heart that he's the son of God and, and God raised him from the dead, that was an inside job. Nobody was there on that bar stool where you said, I believe. Nobody was there that got you up out that bed. No, it was an inside job. Today is an outside job that witnesses to the inside job. All right, all right. Baptism. Hallelujah. It's an external reflection of an inward change. To be baptized is to be marked. Hallelujah. It's no longer to hide out behind the fans and the bulletin. Come on now. Well, come on, man. You stand up here and you say, I'm oh, going to be immersed. Yeah. And in being yeah. baptized, we are baptized into the death, which is the going down. And stay the life and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yeah. And so baptism is a picture of our transformation. We stand in the water because he was alive. Mm. We bend to the water because he died. Jesus. We stayed under the water Ooh, because he was buried. Jesus. But that's not the end of the story. Come on, Pastor. Yeah. You, you see, Jesus. if you just went down that in and of itself would be good. But what I love about baptism, it's not just about how you go down. It's also after you stay there. It's about how how you get back up. Jesus. And that's what the resurrection of Jesus Christ tells me. Yes, he lived and I can live. He dreamed and I can dream. I believe in him. And there's nothing else you can do about it. Every once in a while, the water around me gets troubled. But I say, Lord, I believe. Yes. Help my unbelief. But I still believe. They give themselves to Christ and are baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I want to invite you carefully to, as they get into the water, give them some faith. Those of you that are standing, we baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Church, say. Amen. That's the church. Say. 